In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use popover component in Metrity YDA. So we need to use the popover component that is defined in Metrity Y code. Let me import it first. So this is the component that we need to use. So here, let me use it. This popover. Yeah. So this popover component is used to show uh, information or shows one message or something like that above any other view for example i am creating one button and once the user click on this button then i'll show one popover text over this button so let me add one text here suppose it is click me and let me add one variant suppose it is of type contained and color is let me add it as secondary then if the user will click on it then we'll call on method suppose it is open popover so i need to define this method here okay let me create this method first open popover so in this popover component we need to define one prop it's called open so if i give it as true then it will be shown always then also i need to pass the anchor it's called anchor ul l and i need to pass on anchor so it means that where i want to show it so for now i want to show it over this button so this on click will call open popover here i'll get the event and let me create one variable here this is suppose it's anchor and set anchor to sense it then let me use the use state use state hook so at first i'm gonna set it as null so when this open power will call then we are gonna set the anchor value so here chat anchor event dot current target so this anchor value i'm gonna use it in this prop i'm also showing the text in this popover so for that i'm gonna use the typography component and suppose it is h6 and here i'm gonna add one text suppose it is hello world now let me save it you can see that this popover is showing above this button and since we have marked the open as true so it is showing always let me add some margin to this button suppose the margin top it is 300 and margin left it is 300 then this is showing here so but we need it above this button so if i click on it it's uh, let me change the open to true to boolean value of anchor so if it is null then we will not show it and if it has some value then we'll show it we also need to add two props here one is called anchor origin and another is called transform origin So we need to pass two values here one is vertical and one is horizontal so this top and right i'll get back to this similarly for the transform origin also we need to provide two values vertical and one is horizontal i did one typo here this on click so it is capital c so now if i click on it then you can see this popover is showing here so if i change the anchor origin to bottom then you can see that it moves here if i give it center and it moves here okay let me change it to center and also center then it is starting from the center so horizontally if i change the transform origin to left then it moves here and if i change it to right 
Now let's try to understand this anchor origin and transform origin. Currently all are centered, so it is showing in the center of this button. So anchor origin vertical center. So if I send it to top, then you can see that it moves to top. But this widget this that is the popover widget is still starting in the center of it. This center of this popover widget is aligning to the top of this button. So for this transform origin, if I sense the vertical to bottom, then you can see that the this bottom of this popover is aligning to the top of this button. So horizontal is if I send it to right, then the right of this widget, this popover widget is aligning to the center of this button. So horizontally, if I give it to left then it is aligned to the left of this button so basically this one is used to sense the origin point in the anchor anchor view and this one is to sense the origin point of this pop over we can also pass one more prop it's called on close so here we can sense the this anchor to null so if i send it to null then if I'm clicking it here and if I click on anywhere else then you can see that it is hidden because we are checking the boolean value of this anchor as the open for this popover. So that's all for now. If you love this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions please drop one comment below. Thanks bye.